What if you could create stunning, hyper-realistic AI videos from just a single photo? Well, I just did. Welcome back to another video. My name is Bailey and I am here to show you guys Higgsfield.ai. Now there's tons of AI tools out there. This one is a great one to help you create content. The previous clip that you just saw, that one was created with this Higgsfield.ai. And I am currently processing another video right now just to kind of show you guys what that kind of looks like. But before I do so, I did want to show you guys the pricing for Higgsfield.ai. So I have the tab open right now. This is what it kind of looks like. So there's two ways of paying. You can either pay month to month or you can pay with an annual subscription, which will save you a little bit of money. So I do pay for an annual subscription and I pay for the ultimate plan. This was the highest tiered plan they had at the time when I purchased it. Um, now they have a creator plan, which allows you to create more content on the platform. And let me tell you this, the credits that you get, they go by very quickly. So keep that in mind. Um, but let's just look at the monthly plans because a lot of you guys just want to test this out to see if it's even worth it. The basic ones, nine bucks a month gives you 150 credits per month. Pro, 29 bucks a month for 600 credits. Ultimate's 49 for 1200 and 249 a month for 6,000 credits. Now to generate uh, content with Higgsfield.ai, you do pay with credits. So if you generate photos, um, it usually costs about two uh, credits per generation. So when you go over to this create tab, you can create an image, create a video, speak, and UGC. So I haven't tested the UGC feature quite yet. I have done the image video and I'm currently doing the speak right now just to show you guys what that looks like. So when you create an image, on average, it'll cost you about two credits and that will give you four different iterations of that photo. Now you will have to create multiple runs in order to make sure that it nails it down to whatever prompt that you really want. Uh, the videos do cost a little more than that and then the speak, depending on what quality you wanna use, will cost you upwards of 45 credits or so. Um, so here we are on the speak feature that I'm currently testing out. Like I said, I do have one in progress. Now how it works, all you do is you upload an image so you can either click this box to upload an image or drag and drop it into this box right here, or you can select an avatar. If you select an avatar, this is the character that you will be using. Um, above that, you can change the Higgsfield model. Um, this will be kind of like the style of the video. So I usually do like a walk and talk to make it a little more realistic. Um, if you're trying to do a tech review or some type of review, you can do this selling uh, feature right here, but they do have a lot of options that you can choose from. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the static one just to kind of give you an idea here. I'm gonna select an avatar. Let's go ahead and select Amir. And you can actually upload your own audio file here, or you can start typing it and it'll generate that audio file for you. Um, so what I'll do is I will actually just type a quick little script here. Hello, my name is Bailey and this is a, an AI generated video for YouTube. So I'm gonna click generate gonna generate the sound for Amir. If you wanna add a sound in there, you can add a sound and I'll play Feels it like you. I'm just in a quiet room now. You can probably hear the office buzz behind me. You hear that? Rain in the background, kind of relaxing. So you can see that the sounds kind of add a background noise to it. Um, let's actually hear what the generated audio sounds like. Hello, my name is Bailey, and this is an AI-generated video for YouTube. So it does sound a little different. I'm gonna go ahead and select that audio file. It'll put it right into that audio file, and if you want, you can add a prompt in there. I'm gonna leave the prompt blank. Um, then, as far as the model goes, you can select Higgsfield Speak, Google VO3 Fast, or Google VO3 Regular. So depending on which one you select, it'll change the amount of credits that you're spending. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it at Higgsfield Speak. And if you change the quality, this will also change the amount of credits you're using as well. In this case, since I'm just doing a test, I'll just do a basic one and then I will click generate. And one thing I noticed is that um, Higgsfield did automatically change this model here from static to selfie. 
So one thing you do have to keep in mind is that this website is still a little buggy. If you try using it on your mobile device, on your iPhone or your Android device, I have noticed that it does get changed to something that you don't generally want it to be changed to. So I would suggest using it on a computer, um, but it is possible to use it on a phone. Just know that you might be burning more credits than you want because you're using different models. Um, so it looks like these are still processing. It's been processing for a while now. Um, so you just have to check back once it's done. But in the meantime, I do want to show you this clip right here that I have generated. So what I did was I used the walk and talk model with this image right here. And I uploaded an audio file that um, was for a YouTube intro. But one thing you have to keep in mind is that the image that I uploaded is in vertical format. It's not in landscape. So when it generated the video, it did generate it in this portrait style. So I'm going to go ahead and play this so you guys can hear and see what it looks like. What if you could create stunning, hyper-realistic AI videos from just a single photo? Well, I just did. So it's pretty good besides that ending part. Obviously, it could be a little bit better if I tuned my mic a little better so that it sounded more natural. So being able to plug in a photo, plug in an audio file, and select the style that you want is pretty gnarly to generate something like this. So it looks like the video above it has finished. Again, I just want to show you the photo I used. So this is the photo that I used. It is in landscape mode, so it did generate a landscape video. Um, and if this turns out, I will actually use it in my YouTube intro. What if you could create stunning, hyper-realistic AI videos from just a single photo? Well, I just did. So again, the ending, you probably just want to crop that ending. Um, and then maybe sync the audio file a little bit better. The math is a little off. I feel like it doesn't match the character, especially with my voice. But this at least gives you an idea of what it kind of looks like. This last one is still generating. So um, once it's finished, I will come back and kind of show you what that looks like. So this video is finally done. Let's go ahead and click play and see what it sounds like. Hello, my name is Bailey, and this is an AI-generated video for YouTube. So that makes it look a lot better when you use one of their characters. I think the voice does match this character a lot better. So if you want something a little more realistic, I would select an avatar, um, and then it'll tune that voice to that specific avatar. Otherwise, if you wanted to use your own voice, um, you just have to play with it and tweak it just a little bit. But that's pretty much it for Higgsfield Create with this speak feature. I will kind of go over these other features they have. I just don't want to make this video too long. Um, but if you guys have any questions regarding Higgsfield.ai or if you guys have other uh, AI tools out there that you want me to test, let me know down in the comment section down below. And like always, I'll catch you guys all in the next video. Peace.